You are watching Law and Artist. My name is Mark Monlux. I'm a freelance illustrator in Tacoma, Washington. And when I have interesting legal issues, I like to call up my friend Daniel Abraham. My name is Daniel Abraham, former freelance illustrator, currently an artist to uh, a, a lawyer dealing with artists. Uh, that sounded terrible. Um, and I enjoy talking about legal issues with my friend Mark Monlux. Before we go into depth on today's topic, a disclaimer, Law and Artist discusses general principles of law in response to issues of concern to the illustration community. Nothing in this video or in Law and Artist comments should be construed to be a substitute for advice of legal counsel regarding specific facts or circumstances of an individual case. Laws and their interpretation differ from, juris from jurisdiction to jurisdiction. Legal advice addressing a specific situation should be sought from an attorney duly licensed in the appropriate jurisdiction. Daniel, I was teaching Freelancing 101 this uh, last weekend, and one of my students was having a, a difficulty when I was trying to explain to him the difference be, of how fair use applies to parity. In particular, he couldn't quite get the, get the difference between parody versus satire. Could you explain that? I'd be glad. To, I'd be glad to, Mark. The um, thing is, parody is a form of commentary. Fair use protects commentaries because, it, it, as a matter of free speech, you've got to be able to comment on other things so that you can you, you can discuss them. Parody, poking fun at something, is a kind of commentary. Satire is using whatever it is to poke fun at something else. The question is are you poking fun at the thing itself or using it to poke fun at something else? Uh, for example, the Mad Magazine parodies we all used to read when we were kids were always poking fun at the musical, at the movie. They were not using them to poke fun at a third item. That's really interesting. Um, you mentioned to me something in regards to Dr. Zeus and O.J. Simpson. Can you explain that real quick? Very quickly, uh, there was a case where after the O.J. Simpson trial, someone came out with a with a uh, book which was a burlesque of the O.J. Simpson trial done in Dr. Seuss drawing style, Dr. Seuss verse style. The uh, and the Dr. Seuss estate sued them successfully because they were not poking fun at Dr. Seuss; they were using the Dr. Seuss style to poke fun at O.J. Simpson. So, in other words, it was not parody, even though it parodied the Seuss style, it was considered satire and therefore not protected because it was using the Seuss style to poke fun at O.J. Simpson. Thank you, Daniel. We have more to discuss in regards to fair use. We've got one more video in the pipeline. Uh, take a look for it. But that's all we have for this time. Thank you. Always a pleasure, Mark.